Demo 9.19, WM Steps. In this demo, we will complete the WM Steps to pick the goods for our sales order. In the Create Transfer Order menu, select Transaction VL06P via Outbound Delivery Monitor. Enter the shipping point and picking date and select only WM Picking. Then click the Execute icon to continue. Select the line item and click the TO in Foreground button to continue. The system displays the Create Transfer Order for Delivery Note screen. Click the Enter icon to continue. Click the Save icon to create the transfer order. The system displays the Generate TO Item screen. Enter the Store Bin, Storage Bin Data, and then click the Enter icon to create the transfer order. The system displays the transfer order number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note this document number and click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now confirm the transfer order we have just created. In the single document menu, select Transaction LT12 in one step. Enter the data in the TO number and warehouse number fields. Next, click the Enter icon to continue. Verify that the correct material has been selected, then click the Save icon. The system displays a message confirming the transfer order. Click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now view the storage location inventory to see whether there have been any changes in the balance. In the stock menu, select transaction MB52, warehouse stock. Enter the material, plant and storage location. Then click the execute icon to continue. Notice that there have been no changes in the balance. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Next, we will view the stock balance in our storage bin. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03, Bin Status Report. Complete the data in the warehouse number, storage type, and storage bin fields. Next, click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays the Bin Status Report Overview screen. Notice that there is no longer any material in the storage bin. Click the back icon to return to the initial screen. Enter the outbound delivery document number in the storage bin field and clear the data in the storage type field. Click the execute icon to continue. The overview screen indicates that there is an interim storage area that contains the DXTR3000. Double click on the storage bin number to view the storage bin. In the Display Storage Bin screen, we will see that this storage area contains the 40 bikes that were going to ship to our customer. The materials were removed from the storage bin to this area when the transfer order was confirmed. Click the back icon three times to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now view the finished goods inventory balance to see if the WM process affected the balance. In the Account menu, select Transaction FAGBL03, Display Balances, New. Enter the appropriate data in the Account Number, Company Code, and Fiscal Year fields. Then click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays the Balance Display screen. Note the debits and credits for this account. Double-click on the Debit Balance to view the line items. The line item display screen indicates that no new documents have been debited to the inventory account. Click the back icon to return to the balance display screen. Double click on the credit balance to display the line items posted. 
The system indicates that no documents have been credited to this account. Click the back icon three times to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Finally, we will examine our customer's account balance to see if there have been any changes. In the account menu, select Transaction FD10N Display Balances. Enter the customer, company code, and fiscal year. Then click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays the debits and credits for the customer's account. The customer account balance has not changed, thus the WM process does not affect the customer's account. Demo 9.19 WM Steps